how to read a hydrometer. They're really confusing and we know that and that's why we made this video just to show you how. So we have here a brew, we have here a cylinder, we have a hydrometer. First, what I want to do is show you the hydrometer itself. Okay, so here we have the top of the hydrometer and you can see there's 0 0.990. That is super dry. And then as we go down, it shows various different numbers, right? That would be right in here. It says beer. Don't even worry about any of that stuff. What you're really looking at is the numbers, okay? Like 0 0.990 to 1.000. 1.000 1 is neutral. Then it goes to 1.010, 1.020, all the way down until you hit 1.100, and then 1.110, 1.120, etc. Now, that is the specific gravity scale. That is the scale most homebrewers use. Some people will use the others. This is a triple scale hydrometer. This is where people get confused. Okay, go ahead and turn it for me. So I have a question because it confuses me as well. If I were to get a reading right here at this line, would that be 1.010? Yes. Ah, and then once I get all the way down here where we have the 0.1, and I was down here, that would be 1.110. Yes. All right, I got it, woohoo! All right, now let's show them the other scales. Now this one here. That's the the bricks. Well, the bricks is on there. Bricks is used by a lot of winemakers, and it is actually convertible to specific gravity and vice versa. Um, I don't use it at all, so I can't really speak on it, but I just wanted to show you that that is the scale not to use. And then there's the third, which is potential alcohol. Now, it is possible to use this one. However, this is the one that throws people off. They get confused because they say, okay, when I made it, it said 15%, and now that it's done, it says 0%. Yeah, guess what? That actually means that it went dry. That means you actually made 15% alcohol. We don't use this for that reason. It gets a little bit confusing. It can be done, but it takes a little bit of math gymnastics that I just don't care to do. So what you want to look for is the specific gravity side, where some of them have the beer and wine markings in there. Don't, don't pay any attention to that. What you're really looking for is those numbers. You want to see, usually it's point, 0 0.990 all the way through to What's the highest usually? Like 1.160 or so? Yeah, something like that. 1.160 is usually the highest. If your scale doesn't run that range, you may actually have an alcohol hydrometer, not an actual specific gravity hydrometer. So I'm gonna say one more thing about the potential graph. And you have to focus on the word potential. Right. That is really only used to give you a rough idea of what potential your particular sugars in your brew could go up to. Assuming a perfect fermentation that ends at 1.000, which that's a lot of ifs. So it doesn't always do that. So that's why we don't like the potential one. But the specific gravity is the easiest way to go. All right, so just to get the point across even further, we're going to do a quick reading here and show you what it is. So let me just pull a sample and put it into the cylinder. All right, looking at this, this looks like 0 0.994 to me, maybe even 0 0.995. See how it's two numbers above, two lines above 0 0.990 or below, however you want to look at it. But it's not quite to the 1.000 mark. So each of those lines is two. So it'd be 0 0.990, 0 0.992, 0 0.994, and that's where we're at. And that is how you read a hydrometer. Really, really simple once you understand how it works and just understand the scale. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below and Brian will get back to you as soon as possible. Absolutely. And thanks for watching. And if you like this video, look up. There's another one up there. You might like that one too.